Ken in Reno, Nevada writes to me, and sorry for the echoey room. <laughs> this, this is our little museum where we put our, our beauties here, our IRS-5. Yeah, they're so nice. Love these speakers. Yep, they are. Uh, I miss them. Okay, um, I've enjoyed PS Audio products for about 25 years now. Yes, good job. And I learned from your com commitment to honest answers for almost the same number of years. Wow, thank you. An acquaintance with very credible experience and a system to prove it advises this. Run physically separated cabling for each of the poles of the speaker wire. He says it prevents compounding inductance problems in audio signals. Is he correct? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, he's, he's correct. Um, hmm. Okay, back in the day, back in my day, when Monster Cable first came out, I don't know how many of you have been around long enough to remember, but there was a time when all we used to connect loudspeakers to power amplifiers was what we call zip cord or lamp cord. And that is twin conductor, 12 gauge wire. And you've seen it before. If you, if you, I'm sure you own a lamp, go look at the lamp and you'll see that there is a, a, you know, a plastic twin conductor that's tied together with the, the two uh, conductors needed to hook up to the 110 sitting right next to each other. So we used to get spools of that stuff <clears throat> and we would connect up the lamp cord to the loudspeaker and off we go. Okay. And well, in fact, here, I'll, 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 I'll break with the, I'm going to grab the camera. Sorry about that. And make you dizzy and come on over here. And let's look real close here. This is Okay, you see that? This is Monster Cable's later version of zip cord, of line zip cord. See this? You probably recognize this stuff. And when Noel Lee started Monster Cable, let me pull this back and break all the rules of, of making <laughs> videos. <laughs> Why didn't he just edit that? Okay, because I'm lazy. All right, so when, when Noel Lee did that, he basically came up with a better zip cord. And the original monster cable was zip cord. It's there. That's on that speaker. Those are individual strands, but that, that's what it was. And it, he just used better copper. And I think he twisted it or something. I, it, it wasn't much of a difference between lamp cord, but it did sound better. And one of the things we quickly learned is if you're going to use lamp cord or old monster cable, as he says here, split it apart and run them separate. And it will sound better because indeed, when you have two wires closely tied together like that, you will increase the inductance and the inductance can, depending on the length of the wire and all sorts of other things, change the high frequency response. An inductor rolls off high frequencies, okay? It forms a, uh, a low pass filter, which is not what you want on a speaker or in anywhere in your system unless you're regulating it. So yes, that, that is. Now today, like if you look at my speaker cables, they're the AudioQuest Dragons, and yes, they are expensive, but Bill takes those and he, he twists them in a braid. Kimber does the same thing uh, at right angles. And when you do that, as opposed to just pulling them apart, you get some other benefits, cancellation of noise and stuff. So you run it at right angles so that they aren't actually like this. They are like this, and you get the same benefit as pulling them apart in a much more convenient form factor and it actually sounds better for other reasons too. So yes, your friend is essentially correct. Okay, thanks. 